Boy, we are excited about this. Welcome back. A former New York Times writer, Pulitzer Prize winner, but now turning his focus to southern food and cooking while still telling stories. And we are so thrilled to have Rick Bragg here in our studio talking about stories from his mom's kitchen table in Alabama. It's great to see you, and we thank you for spending some time with us. Oh, this is easy. This is like home. It's just 100 miles north or so. <laughs> it's good. What made you want to tell this particular style of story that you're telling in this book? Well, I got scared. Uh, my mom got ill, and I asked her, you know, we were just talking, just trying to cheer her up. I said, give me the recipe for pinto beans and ham, or short ribs and potatoes and onions. And she said, well, hon, I don't, I've never written down a recipe. Mm -hmm. And I found out where our food came from. And it's shootings and killings and <laughs> knife fights and stolen cows and <laughs> pig larceny, <laughs> chicken theft. It's, it's all those things. And I thought, you know, if that's not a book, then what? Right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Well, one. you know, Russell and I both can relate to this. We come from a long line of Southern cooks. Mm. There's just something about it. Every meal was an event, and we were both the same. My grandmother never followed a recipe, and we don't have many of her recipes now. Well, I, you know, it's there's no math to it. It's all story. You know, the, the recipe came down from, like, chicken and dressing. I asked my mom, where does that come from? And she says, well, you know, that comes from that time that your cousin Sis shot her husband in the teeth. Oh. <laughs> and, and, uh, that is amazing. You can make that up. Yeah, so how do you, how do you not have fun with, uh, with Southern cooking? All right, I you gotta... choose all the stories. I, I imagine you have uh, quite a few. Well, what I did was uh, it had to be chronological, mm -hmm. so, you know, to make sense. So I just sat with my elderly aunts, my mom. And I said, okay, where does the biscuit recipe come from? Where does the chicken recipe come from? And there was always a story. There was always, a, a, like I said, there was always some terrible act of violence or, you know, just the process of picking a chicken to kill oh, yeah. was, <laughs> was, was a gothic tale. Oh, yeah. All right, I got you, cornbread, I'm sure, is in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, is yeah. that sugar, no sugar? No, no sugar ever. If you put sugar in any cornbread, my mama will have a epileptic. <laughs> Somebody fit. else will die. <laughs> right, right. So no sugar. Uh, crackling cornbread's best. Everyday cornbread, pretty, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about you know with the southern cooking. You know the great family meal. We have a lot of fast food restaurants, mm. and new generations are growing up without that experience. What do you think about that? Well, it it breaks my heart. Uh, you know, my mom, uh, the difference between fried chicken in my mama's kitchen and fried chicken from a window, it's just pretty unspeakable. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it yeah. can be pretty unspeakable. Um, there are young cooks mm -hmm. in these mountains right now that know this art, but there are so few of them, I think. And, uh, you know, they can make a really good lasagna, mm -hmm. but, you know, collards, yeah, oh, uh, you yeah. know, turnip greens, yeah. navy okra, beans, fried okra, okra mm -hmm. or, you know, pork spare ribs, slow cooked in butter beans. You know, that's, yeah. that, so th that, that breaks my heart. That's yeah. Of course, unfortunately, eating it will also break your heart. <laughs> that's right. So. All right, now you got this great event coming up at the Bijou. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that and how folks can get involved with it. Well, uh, that would require me to know what that's I'm doing. That's all right. Doing. You know, it's right there on the screen. Oh, May yeah. It's May yes. 21st, and it's yeah. sponsored by Union Avenue Books and Friends of the Public Library. Tickets are $30. You, you don't want to miss this because this is going to be really, really cool. Um, well, you got my dog on there. Yeah, that how about that? Dog. That's you a and fine I were just dog. talking about home cooking. Do you cook? Not a lick. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lick. It is. I don't uh, feel so bad. Great. Okay. I am. I am six foot two and weigh two hundred sixty pounds, and every ounce of it is because of my mom. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I've lived all over the world, <laughs> but I'm pretty much the same dimensions that I was when I left home thirty years ago. <laughs> I love Great. It. I love oh, it. What a privilege stuff. to have you here. Oh, thank, you. thank y'all. This yeah. is a lot of fun. Uh, this has been just terrific. And folks can get the book pretty much anywhere, I guess, huh? If, they, if they've got a bookstore, it ought to be in there. If there's not, we've done a terrible job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My mother from Ellick City, Alabama is going to like this. Oh, yeah. Uh,